Hi everybody, welcome to this video on compound interest formula and periods interest rate. I want to start by writing out our compound interest formula. Now, up till now we've understood that your n is the number of years. We're not going to change that. Your i is your compound interest rate. Now this up to this point has been per annum. And that's fine because it needs to be in the same time unit as n. However, if I was to present you a situation where you are paid 12% per annum payable semi-annually, what does this mean? It means up to this point, we've understood every period as one year. But because it's paid every semi-annually, you're going to get a future value every semi-annual. So what does that mean? Your first period will end at 0 0.5 years, so half a year. And then so on, so on. Every period will be half a year, not one year. And because of that, this formula doesn't really help you. Because n is the number of years and i is the compound interest rate per annum. It doesn't really match up with this question here. So I'm going to alter your compound interest formula to take into account different length periods and the interest rate per period. Yeah. Now before I get on to that, I want to tell you something about this word. This word is essentially the same meaning as compounded and convertible. 12% payable semi-annually is essentially the same thing as 12% compounded semi-annually and 12% convertible semi-annually. These words are interchangeable. Just something to note. Now, the example I gave was 12% per annum payable semi-annual. Another way of saying this, but really quickly, is to simply write J2. Now, what is J2? To explain what J2 is, I must firstly show you guys a formula. Jm on m equals i. And up to this point, i meant per annum. But now, I want you to think about it as your compound interest per period. Jm on m is your compound interest per period. I is now also your compound interest per period. Yeah. And your m, the m that we have here, is the number of periods per year. The number of periods per year. So because 12% per annum is payable semi-annually, we know that there must be two periods per year. So J2 is where you are payable semi-annually. What is J52? Well, it must be payable weekly. J12. Monthly. J365. Daily. And etc. etc. Can we put this into our formula? JM on M equals I. This is your compound interest rate per period. M is your number of periods. Now up to this point, our compound interest formula was this. Now, I want you guys to replace I with what we have here. So future value equals principal open bracket 1 plus JM on M. Because this is your interest rate per period. Close bracket. 
Now, instead of putting it to the power of n, which is just a number of years, I want you to multiply n by m. What is m again? The number of periods in a year. Essentially, using this new compound interest formula, you will be able to calculate the compound interest even when your periods are nine years. Your periods can be half a year, can be a month, can be a week, can be a day, and you wouldn't have a problem because the number of periods per year is taken into account here, and you got your compound interest rate per period right here. Thank you for watching this video.